I, who said he is? He did. It's wrong. It's a mistake. It must be. You can't tell Sam. The thing is, it's Sam. Okay, okay, if it's a mistake. Please. I don't give him enough grief. He don't need to worry about this, does he? Miss Morton playing hide and seek with the patients again? Uh, perhaps he discharged himself. Perhaps you should find out. Meg, the CT scan showed your daughter has a tear in her aorta. That's serious, right? Oh, can I see her? We need to operate. She's being prepped now. There should be a theatre free soon. I better get back. Oh, uh, and Rachel, how's she doing? Stable. Annie's got to have an operation. I heard, love. I'm sorry. I just want to know why he let them go off in his stupid car. I mean, what was he thinking? Thinking's not his strong point. They were in his car, right? I don't... Well, I suppose it must have been. But you haven't asked. Well, it, it, it didn't seem... It doesn't matter, does it? Sorry, sorry. You're right. It doesn't matter now. Nothing does. Connor! Um, sorry, lost patient. Um, are you in here? Connor? I don't want that operation. I have to warn you, if you're building an escape tunnel, we're on the third floor. I want to go home. First you have to open the door. Okay, look. How about... I get some help. Hmm? That there are people here who understand. A shrink. I'm not crazy, you know. Just because I like peace and quiet doesn't make me crazy. Oh, please, Connor, open the door. I can help you. Come on. Come on. Deep breaths. Oh, that's crazy. You know we have to treat that leg, and you said yourself, you're not crazy. But does it have to be all? Knives and needles. I can't. I'm not going up there. Come on, come on. We haven't got time to debate this. Let's go. Come on. That's it. I won't even ask. Panic attack. What the hell were you doing to him? Please. Isn't it another way? Something quick and clean. Something neat with lasers. Well, not lasers, but there might be something... Nurse we... Morton. <laughs> you knew this patient to be seriously unwell. You took your eyes off him. Come on. There's no need to give me a progress report, Nurse Morton. I can see how well it's going. Annie West, suffering from an aortic dissection. The bleed's coming from a tear in her abdominal Annie! segment. Annie! Meg, please. <laughs> I've got no output. All right, stop. stop. Adrenaline. The tear may have ruptured. Very close. Not now, Annie. She's lost too much blood. Right. We need to replace the fluids. Come on. Dr. Griffin. Uh, get a 14-gauge cannula into a vein. What are you waiting for? Come on! Terapivolemic arrest. Yeah, her pupils are dilated. I've got no output. She's gone, Lola. Time. 1,500. <laughs> it's that fallow thing again. Tetralogy of fallow. Yes, well, it's not just the disease, I'm afraid, but the aftercare. You'll have to take it easy for a while. Avoid any strenuous activity. You're going to write me a sick note? I really would advise you to stay and have those tests on we talked about. There is your baby to think about. No. No, I'm fine now. And Sam said that you can't make me have them test anyway. Yes, he's right. We can only advise. How's it going? The doctor says I should pick my feet up for a while. Mm. Sounds good to me. Right. I'm sorry if I scared you earlier. As long as you're okay. You saved me. Did he tell you? He gave me the kiss at life. <clears throat> I'll leave you these pills. 
Take care, Jade. You too, Doc. Enough to give you indigestion. Jess. <laughs> Hello. Jess, <gasps> back. So I am refreshed and ready for action. <laughs> well, you're going to get plenty of that from what I hear of AAU. <laughs> Tandy, a baby. I've heard so much about you. Hmm. Really? Um, maybe I, I should. Been giving me a secret, have you? <laughs> He certainly has. No, not, not, a, not a, a secret, uh, exactly. I'm, I was just... Uh, I'm just waiting for the... For the anyway, this is Tandy, baby. Um, my... Uh, my fiancé. Fiancé. Um, Tandy, this is Jess, my, my daughter. Well, um, I think I'll leave you two to catch up. Uh, Jess, I hope we can... Yeah, sure. I was going to tell you. Oh, she's nice. Young. And? No, nothing, really. Jess, Tandy's age is really none of your concern. Oh, I just thought Lola was joking. Lola? But she wasn't. You really are having some kind of midlife crisis. Not a very original one. Oh, come on, Dad. I didn't mean it. As I am. She's 15. First of all, she is your patient. But you must never forget what are you doing. She needs my help, Elliot. You've seen her. She doesn't realize how vulnerable she is. Well, I'm afraid that makes two of you. Look, the police. And... She's a known prostitute, so what? It sounded more serious than that. I know you're not going to want to hear this. But she's in a better place. With God? You're talking about God now? Meg, when we fail, or when it looks like someone's lost to us, that's when God takes over. We're only here for the briefest time, but he has eternity. My faith tells me Is that... Is that the best you can do? And his reward will be in heaven. God's love is in both of us, Meg. You must know he didn't want this. Please, Susan, just take your Christian values and go to hell. Forgive me, Meg. Now's not the time. Listen, Susan, I don't blame your God or your daughter. You've always let Rachel run wild. Maybe you're making up for that damn dog collar, I don't know. My daughter, my beautiful baby, dead. Yeah, if you want to know who I blame, go find a mirror. Griffin. Reverend Hobson, uh, my name is Rick Griffin. I'm the surgeon who's been treating your daughter, Rachel. Oh, you both called Griffin. <laughs> Long story, hon. How's Rachel? Any change? The results show there's a small amount of blood in her abdomen. We'd like to do an exploratory laparotomy to find the cause. She will wake up, won't she? We have to be cautious with a head wound like Rachel's. But her CT scan seemed fine. We think it's just concussion. Why don't you go and sit with her? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Do me a favor, Lola. Just stay out of my business. What? Look, you can say what you like about me. I'm used to your insults. But bad-mouthing Tandy to my daughter. 
That's low, even for you. I wouldn't waste my time. No, not everybody has your thick hide, right? Now, Tandy is... Far too young for you. But she does have my respect. Your respect? Oh, yes. Because she's done what no other woman could. Wrapped you round her little finger. You're poisonous. You're just pathetic. Yeah, but the last time I checked, I had a backbone. Eric, can't you see you being played for a fool? Why? Because she's young and, and beautiful. She shouldn't be with a, with a geriatric like me. Your words. Listen, I don't care if it lasts a year. I don't care if it lasts six months. It's called living. You should try it sometime. Did you go to classes in being so pompous? I'm not to listen to this. I feel sorry for you. What? Well, save it, pity. I'll save it for her poor bloody patience. What the hell was that? Private. No, that's the problem. It wasn't. <gasps> Did you know? that one in three Canadians suffer from campamnophobia. It's a fear of buttons. All right, I made the Canadian bit up. I'm fine with buttons. One down. What about spiders? I prefer buttons. Flies? Hate flies. They carry disease in. How about baby flies? Margots. No one likes margots. I bet Margots don't even like Margots. I'm going to have to check with the doctor, but I think they may be able to sort your leg out. And this way, no knives or needles. It's called larval therapy. You see, when a maggot eats, it secretes a chemical which sterilizes. How does this help my leg? Well, we'll put them on your leg. Me. They eat. Me. Only the dead flesh, Connor. Oh, my eating flesh. It, it's painless. You but, won't feel a thing. But I'll know that they are sick. Sick and disgusting. Get away no. from me. Now. What do you think you're doing? No. You're all crazy. You want to chop my leg off? You want to feed me to the markets? This place is like some our hospital. Do you do predictions as well, Nurse Milton? Doc? Doc, what's happening? BP's falling. Page Eric now. Is she... We need to get her to theatre. Where's Susan? Andy? I, I don't know. Is she going to be OK? Does Rachel have any allergies that you know of? Uh, cats. No, drug allergies. She didn't mention anything. OK, good. Let me go with her. Sorry, Susan. I'll get news to you as soon as I can. OK, let's go. What are you doing here? Well, that's not a philosophical question. I guess because I'm a designated driver. You act all nice, but we should just leave us alone. I know, but Sam asked me to help. He's really kind, isn't he? Kind of special. Special? Oh, that Sam would forget. He feels sorry for you, Jade. He wants to help you, but I mean, do you really think this is fair on him? People like you don't get it. You don't understand. Maybe not. <sighs> okay, Mr. Strachan, ready when you are. Right. No, um. I mean, yeah, of course, but are you sure about that? What was he saying? Let me talk to him. What's happened? Where's Sam? You can't stay with him. You must see that. I don't know. I just wish you'd put yourself in Sam's shoes for a minute. Elliot's his boss. Elliot? What's he said? What's he told Sam? <sighs> Look, it was an accident. I didn't mean for any of it to happen. Where are you going? <sighs> Jade! Jade! The intestines black. This bowel really isn't viable. I'm going to need three on Maxim. Okay. Here it comes. I'm serum us for sutures. Sorry, Rachel. This won't be as good as new, but... Well, at least you'll have a bowel in continuity. Comoxiclav, I think. It's a penicillin derivative, but I think it'll be the best prophylaxis. 1.2 grams. 
good and a lot of colour.